Because I write for a living, I have a great collection of writing apps. Blogsy is my favorite way to compose for WordPress. So I can type in here, I can insert YouTube, I can insert images, right a line, left a line, in the middle of my text, not just above or below the fold, uh, which makes no sense in the WordPress app. There's also a browser if I need to look something up real quick in here. Uh, and it's just a great all-around app. Pages, uh, I'll do some composing in pages, and iCloud syncing makes it nice to keep those documents in sync from place to place. The WordPress app I have only because occasionally I need to jump in and just do two or three quick edits in someone's post, uh, but really it's, it's an awful app if that's all you're gonna do. Goodreader is great for keeping PDFs on hand. Evernote is where I keep everything. Ideas, story ideas, articles I wanna reference later, I can clip a full copy of the text, so even if the original website goes down or the article is pulled, I have a copy. Um, I take snapshots, and so I'll take notes in handwriting, and then I'll import them into Evernote, and it'll do OCR, so I can even search my handwritten notes. It's just a phenomenal app. Uh, Bamboo Paper, Penultimate, and Notability are three apps that I jump between for inking on the iPad. Each have their strengths and weaknesses, and I haven't really discovered a favorite just yet. Uh, Touch Docs is a great way to access Google Docs. And so I can see in here all different types of items that I want to follow up on. I can open up spreadsheets, and it's just a really handy way, way better than using the web. IA Writer is one of my favorites, and it allows me to compose with access to extra shortcuts so I can jump between words, I can add punctuation and move left or right in a sentence without having to go over to the number part of the keyboard. So those are the writing apps that I use and I think I use IA Writer and Blogsy and Evernote the most.